Good day, viewers. Tinkering around with some of this old leftover scrap deck board I had out here. I thought I'd build a bird feeder today. I've took, basically just guessed it 17 inches, and I've took two pressure treated 2x4s. How did I come up with 17 inches? That's how long my wood was. Cut two little half lamp, lamp joints in there. Not very accurate, but it'll work for this bird feeder. That's going to go like that. I'm going to take three short pieces of wood here. I was going to make a circle and cut it out. I'm still going to cut the circle out in the middle, but this end's going to be squared. I'm still going to make it a square. And this metal serving tray or plate, I don't know where it was. It was in the junk pile. Distributed by J.C. Pennies in Texas, made in China. I don't know what it was for. A little serving dish or something. I'm going to cut that circle out. And that's going to fit down inside there to hold the bird seed. Well, if it works like I'm designing it, that's what it's going to do. Let's see. Let's move this board over here. I cut some two, uh, baluster pieces with a 15 degree angle on both ends. And I figure I can put one here, one here, here, and here. That's what I'm trying anyway. I had this old satellite dish that was in the front yard of taking it apart. And this is going to bolt down right on top. When I get through with this feeder, if it works like I'm planning, it's going to be mounted to the top of a fence post out there in the garden. But if I cut this circle out, then any seed that get in there, it can just fall down in there. I won't have to clean that out every time. If I want to clean out the feeder, I just pick up this tray and dump it off and Put it back in there clean and it looks like it ought to work maybe with a few modifications here and there but i dragged out my saw i thought i'd go ahead and tried to draw a circle with a string and that didn't do too good don't have a 17 inch compass but that'll get that showed me that i really don't want a circle that would make it too weak here in the it would be prone to breaking. And when we get done, we'll see how we can decorate it up. In the meantime, let me hook up my extension cord and let's go ahead and cut some boards. I got out here and worked the other day without filming any. Made quite a mess cutting them lap joints, but I got them cut. These are just scraps. I could have uh, cut it right, measured right from the end, but I already had my circle marked. It's just wasting wood anyway, so. Let's see what we got. That probably didn't come out 17 inches, but let's see what it came out. That magic marker's a half inch wide. Pretty close to 17. All right, there's one. I'm gonna go down to my saw in the shop down in the basement to cut that circle out. I could do it with a jigsaw. But uh, yeah, I might just use the jigsaw. That would leave all the mess out here instead of messing up the shop. We're gonna see how it comes out.
they're going to be attached to the top of this. That ought to give me plenty of support. Anyway, that's what I'm going with for now. Well, I got it put together that far, my friends. I had some little beads on the bottom of this plate and it was interfering by hitting my two by four, but I grinded them off on the grinder. Now, you wouldn't have to use one of these if you wanted to build one. Any little plastic plates, probably can get one at the dollar store. Something round, fit it right in there and then the birds can pick and eat. When I want to clean it out, I just push up from the bottom right there, take this out and wipe it off. So this is going to be mounted to the top of a fence post so it can't come down. Not without unbolting it. Now let's see how this is going to look. I don't think I got my angle quite right on this. 15 degrees is what I guessed it. Well, I can tell you one thing, it's pretty original. I need to paint that booger bear up. These don't line up too good right here. I probably would have been better off to take a piece of plywood and cut a 17 inch square and it would be even right here. But I don't think the birds are gonna complain that I used up some old wasted wood left over from the deck. It hadn't cost me nothing except a few screws and a little bit of my time. And I think I can just drill a hole in the top and bolt that right to the top of that. And I think I'll put a little decoration or two on it and make it look nice. I'll definitely have to paint it. But in the meantime, I guess it depends on what color paint I got over there. I, I might have a can of paint over there. If I do, I, whatever it is, green, red, blue, white, red, whatever it is, black. No, I don't think I ought to paint it black. I gotta decide where to drill my holes. It doesn't have to be exact. And what kind of screws? I need a round head screw. Let's go look at my junk drawer. Cleaning up my mess. I'll paint it tomorrow. I'm gonna to paint it tonight, but it's getting late. I guarantee you there ain't another bird feeder like that on YouTube. That's a P wall part original. Looks like it's gonna work real fine.